Hello and welcome back to Knights at the Game Table. Today we have an epic battle between the forces of the Grey Knights using the brand new codex for Games Workshop versus Corn Demons. As always, don't forget that you have an opportunity to win your very own starter set of your choice by simply leaving a comment and sharing this video. So make sure you do that while you're watching and I'll see you inside the video. How's it going, everybody? Uh, I've got corn demons tonight. I've got a, one squad of 30 blood letters. I've got Skull Taker, a Herald of Corn, Bellacore, that's what Bellacore counts as. My Bellacore broke, so brought that. And then we've also got the Bloodthirster. Uh, the Bloodthirster there, he's uh, the, the Wrath of Corn Bloodthirster. Yeah, whatever he is. <laughs> It's my son. So uh, anyway, this is what I brought to the team tournament at Wargames Con. And we paired this up with a bunch of corn berserkers in a, uh, a Charybdis drop pod. And it was pretty effective. We ended up getting third place. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a fun, a fun team tournament. Uh, but anyway, we'll see what, how they do against Grey Knights. I haven't fought Grey Knights in, in this edition yet, so we'll see see how it goes. Today I'm going to be playing with the Grey Knights. Now, I have had a Grey Knight army since they first came out back in the 90s. I love my Grey Knights, but fun fact, I've never played a game with them. I don't know how this has happened, but somehow I just love the miniatures and I collect them, but I've never actually used them in a game. So tonight is going to be the redemption, where after 20 odd years of collecting the things, I'm actually going to get to use them. Uh, this army was painted by John actually for me, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I got a bunch of different people that I'm going to be bringing here. I got four squads of the, the Purgation squads. Uh, these guys have got dual incinerators. Uh, every other squad has uh, one of the, the Nemesis Demon Hammers as well. He's going to be very effective in close combat. I'm bringing a Dreadnought that I've armed with an assault cannon. I've got a pair of Razorbacks with twin LAS cannons that I'm hoping can do some damage against these characters. And finally, the piece de resistance thing I'm really excited about was I spent all day uh, putting this guy together, which is a Grand Master in a Nemesis Dread Knight suit. Um, this is something that the rules just came out for in the new codex, but a miniature doesn't exist. So I actually kitbashed this one between Voldus, a Dread Knight, and I even used some legs off of a Custodes Dreadnought. So I am super excited to be playing this day. I have no idea how these guys are gonna play, um, but I've got some ideas and some strategies, and uh, we'll just test them out and see if the Grey Knights really can put hurt on some demons. So I managed to set up my entire army first, um, which, and I gotta be honest with you, I'm kind of intimidated by this thing. I don't know if you... This is just one giant unit of demons with big demons behind it. I mean, there's nothing pleasant about it. I'm not excited about it. Technically, I get to have the first turn, which is great. However, there is yet to be an episode of Knights at the Game Table where John doesn't successfully seal initiative by rolling a six. Uh, he has cursed chicken blood dice. I, I swear one of those dice is rigged. Let's see that six, John. Yellow dice! Oh, it was so close! Did you oh, see that? I saw it. Oh my god, I get the first turn. Oh. <laughs> I almost didn't believe it could happen. Oh, he gives him plus one to see. No, he doesn't. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got the first turn. I almost don't know what to do with the first turn of the game. Like, I never get first turn against John. Um, I, I feel like there's not much point in moving. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to move these guys to within 24 inches so I, I can at least get some Storm Bolt to fire. You know, it feels like that's probably a thing I should do. But I don't, I don't even think I'm close enough to pull that off. Yeah, you're pretty far back there. Yeah, I'm pretty far back. I think I'm good. Six inches, I've got some shots. So it feels like I should take them. It's movement phase, I don't think. Yeah, I see him. Just making sure. Uh, this guy is in range. These are 36 on the assault cannons, right? They used to be 24. Did they move them to 36? 24. Shit, you're right. That's bad news. Moves eight. Minus one to hit. Mm -hmm. I just didn't expect to get the first turn. John is, is what the issue is. Yeah. Cool, all right, so I think that's my movement phase. Move into the psychic phase. Now, the cool thing about Grey Knights is even the Dreadnoughts have psychic powers, but unfortunately, most of their ranges are 18 inches. Um, so I'm really looking at casting things that are gonna buff my guys and keep them safe. 
Um, I do have to make a decision about whether I'm going to drop this guy down, and that answer is no. That's not happening just yet. I'll come out and play. Uh, no. No, I don't want to. He doesn't want to come. Uh, we'll have uh, this guy casting Astral Aim. Well, I don't, I don't think any of this stuff has cover, right? I mean... No. no I, th I, don't, I, don't think there's, I don't think there's any need to cast absolutely anything, and there's no point risking the perils of the warp, so I'm not going to cast it. Go ahead. Yeah. Nope. All snow babies. No, oh, you wouldn't know about that. Uh, what about no babies? <laughs> no, I have too many babies. <laughs> yeah, too many balls, too many babies. All right, so that's the end of my psychic phase then. Uh, we'll move into the, into the shooting phase. Uh, why don't we start with uh, this Razorback shooting that Bloodthirster and hoping... That, that, that I can damage that thing before it does awesome things to, and by awesome I mean horrible, torturous things to my army. Twin link glass cannon, hitting on threes on these bad boys. Uh, I'm gonna do all of them at once, they're all gonna shoot that bloodthirster. Come on guys. You got one hit. I got one hit. One of them was a hit. That's not what Missed that twin link, huh? That's not what you want to see right now. I'm, I'm toying with using a command point. I think I'm gonna. I am gonna use a command point, John. I'm gonna go to three. I'm gonna re-roll one of these dice. There you go. There we go. Nice. Uh, strength nine, toughness seven. Yeah, so threes, I mean, threes no matter what. Here we go. Nice. Two wounds. Two wounds at minus three from the last cannon, John. Although, I think that's just going to be an invulnerable save. Yeah. Two five-ups. Oh, nice. That's what I needed. Man. God, I needed this. All right, here we go. Four wounds total. Could you stop being psychic? That would be, uh, be great. Born, I don't do psychic. <laughs> do you bathe in chicken blood? Because that's, uh, that's what I'm starting to wonder. I got six shots with this guy shooting against the demons. Um, I did not do enough damage to that bloodthirster. Uh, hitting on fours because I got minus one to hit. Wow, some bad dice rolls. Uh, strength of six, toughness of, those guys, toughness of those guys is... Three. So twos. Two wounds. Invulnerable saves again. Nice. Two dead? Yep. Uh, let's get some storm bolts a shot. So it's definitely one. I think I'm stretching a second one maybe. I don't think I have a third or a fourth. Four shots. Hitting on threes. Three hits, wounding on threes. Two wounds. Two more saves. Nice, made one save. Good job, John. It's a, uh, it's a pretty lackluster first turn, I can't lie. But nevertheless, uh, that is the first turn. So, blood letters, when they take a wound, or they take any wounds, they roll morale. On a one, they automatically pass it and they regenerate D6 blood letters lost. No. Wasn't a yellow dice, John? I know. That's what it was. Let's see. Yeah, the yellow dice would have been a one. God damn it. Green dice are retired, man. They're going back in the bag. I'm going to go on a mission. I'm going to steal those yellow dice one day. That's what's going to happen. So basically, every single time I kill the blood letters, there's a one in six chance that the amount I killed come back. Great. So the blood letters are going to advance. Give me a six when I need it. Nice. The Herald's going to advance as well. He's moving along as well. Skull Taker's gonna roll as well. He's moving nine. He's just gonna roll up. And Bellacor is gonna roll up as well. Actually, he's gonna come over here. Yeah. He got it. Nah. Nothing. Okay. That was my eventful turn one. It's my fear against this army. These guys move fast across the table, and it's kind of epic. Like, I've got that sense of impending doom as the demons are approaching on the Grey Knights. 
Uh, let's move into turn two. There's five turns in this game. The mission's really simple. At the end of the game, whoever controls each of these objectives get three points per objective. We we'll get one for killing the Warlord, one for ending up with a miniature in the opponent's zone, and one for first blood. So we'll see how this goes. My big question, John, is do I have nine inches? Can I come in there if I want to? It's 17 and a half inches. Which is exactly not enough. So my great battle plan was to drop this guy behind those, but I can't because of the way that, uh, that John set up. Yeah, makes it very difficult to do such things, which is a shame. Um, so I'm gonna have to think carefully about what I want my strategy to be. And I think my strategy is uh, gonna be to retreat because that's what you do when demons approach John. This, uh, just for the record, this isn't running away. This is a, a tactical with withdrawal. Grey Knights don't run away. Whatever we, makes you feel better. We walk backwards slowly. Torn now, I kinda wanna drop my Dread Knight in anyway, but I'm worried that I'm just, uh, I'm just being trigger happy. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna hold off. Psychic phase again, I don't think I have anything crazy to do. So I'm just gonna shoot uh, four last cannons at that Bloodthirster. Let's do this. Three hits, winning on threes. Come on, guys. Nice, three. Oh, oh this, this could be good. All right, here we go. 3d6 worth of damage against the Bloodthirster. The Bloodthirster's only got 12 lives left. Uh, statistically, I'm looking at doing at least 10. Uh, but let's hope for the 12. Let's take this thing out. Come on. Yes, 12. Got it. Wow. Yeah. That. That was lucky. How many wounds does Bellacore have? Does he have over 10? In 8th edition, you can't shoot a character that's behind, uh, unless it's the closest thing to you, unless it has 10 wounds or over. Um, and Bellacor has 8. So even though he's got this nice demon sitting here, I can't target it until I kill these other 30 guys. Um, which means I'm back to using the Dreadnought that moved again, but it was worth it to get the extra round shooting in. Uh, hitting on 4s. Uh, wounding on 2s. Three wounds against three regular guys. Two go dead. Two more dead. This time, I've got the whole unit in. So I got a lot of storm bolt shots, John. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got twelve storm bolt shots. Okay, twelve storm bolt shots. These guys are hitting on threes. Wounding on. Oh, wow! So many ones and twos. Wounding on threes. Come on, guys. Nice, all but one. So that's six saves you gotta make. Wow! <laughs> this is insane. Dice rolls. Three more dead. It's crazy. Alright, so that's it at the end of turn two. At this point, I think I'm starting to see John's strategy. If he spreads out enough, he could control all four objectives and there's not much I could do about it. Uh, if you look at the board here, he could go for a complete objective hold. And if I can't start doing some more damage, he's gonna be able to hold him, I won't be able to take him. Your turn too. They're gonna advance. Okay. Charger forward and advancing skull taker. He's moving forward as well. Bellacor. That's uh, that's the end of my turn. So that was in the turn two. We're moving into turn three. There's only three turns left in the game. I've still got to make a decision about um, whether I'm bringing down my Dread Knight at this point. It's really intimidating, man. Seeing these demons coming across the board, like if they touch, I'm in. I am in trouble, there's no, no doubt about it. And my LAS cannons against these, uh, these blood letters really aren't gonna do much. So I, I've gotta think about whether I wanna be charging at this point. I don't think I have the charge. I, don't, I definitely don't, I can't guarantee it, that's for sure. I don't feel comfort enough to say that I have the charge. I'm gonna attempt to deny it on these guys maybe. It's tough. All right, it's Dreadnought. I kinda don't wanna move it again. I'll leave it there. Uh, these guys aren't firing heavy weapons, so I'll pull them back. I, I have nothing to lose from that. So I'll get these guys to come back. They're not scared, it's a tactical withdrawal. Just, just want to make that clear. Very different thing. Grey Knights can't be scared. Psychic phase, they're not in range. Normally Smite has a range of 18 inches, but the Grey Knights only have a range of 12. So 
They're not doing anything psychically right now. Uh, I think these guys are going to cast Hammer Hand on themselves, just in case. Value of six. Six. They have Hammer Hand. Shooting phase. I now have to shoot Laz Cannons at Blood Letters. That's, uh, that's how bad this is, because I can't shoot those characters. Uh, let's try and thin it down first. So I'll shoot the Assault Cannon at the Blood Letters. Um, so I'm hitting those guys on threes now. Nice. Wounding on twos. Nice. Five saves. Oh my gosh. So uh, Storm Bolters against the same unit. Let's try and break them down even further. Lots of ones and twos, but not too terrible. Wounding on threes. Another five saves, John. Four gun. They're dropping slowly, but those characters are still in there, and they are beat. I mean, those characters alone could walk through my army. We've seen that at nights many times before. And then, uh, and then that's the end of my turn three. Let's do a morale. Give me a one. Four. I need a one. Yeah, you do. I need you to not ever have a one. We're gonna advance. Can they advance and charge in the same turn? No. Okay, good now. That's good to know. I'll bet you money that when the Chaos Demon Codex comes out, Corn Blood Letters can advance and charge in the same turn with a stratagem. Skull Taker. He's gonna advance. Whoa, that's a lot. Uh, Spellacore's gonna cast Warp Time on himself. Mm-hmm. It's a success. This spell's amazing. Warp time enables you to gain an extra movement. On a flying wizard, you can basically double move across the board. It's a great way of getting into close combat. It's actually my favorite Magnus trick. Bellacore is going to connect. Uh, Infernal Gaze on the Dreadnought. Goes off. I'm going to attempt to deny that. Okay. Yep, that's, that's not going to be enough. Can Bellacore cast two spells? you take mortal wound. Can Bellicor cast two spells a turn? Okay, that's awesome. One, One mortal wound. So I could have just cast smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh, the dreadnought takes a mortal wound. Yeah. And then I'm gonna charge. Yep. I am going to Overwatch, sir. Uh, so um, obviously in eighth edition we've got Overwatch. So uh, first of all I've got the assault cannon. This thing's hitting on sixes. Two sixes. Wow. That's not terrible. Strength six, what's his toughness on Bellicor? Uh, yes, six. Wounding on fours. One wound. It's good. Uh, from the assault cannon, minus one. It's a reroll. Oh, no, he takes one. Nice. Okay, one wound on Bellicor. Uh, I've got the heavy flamer. This is going to automatically hit. Yeah. Twice, not the best. Wounding on fives. One wound. Uh, minus one. And looking for five. Nope, takes two wounds. Okay. And then he's charging. That's gonna connect. Boom. Bellacore versus Dreadnought. Six attacks. Oh. Strength seven. This is what this guy does. Hitting on twos. And he re-rolls once. Of course he does. Yep, that's all of them. Strength seven, toughness seven. Winning on fours. Oh, four. So they're negative five. Negative five, did negative you say? Five. Well, yeah. that's no saves whatsoever yep. of any Three kind. So that's 12 damage. Uh -huh. Hello, darkness, my old. I should probably not sing that because we don't have the rights to it, but yeah, that's uh, it's the end of that dreadnought. Well, that sucked. So, uh, turn three. We see why this is a close combat army as uh, my entire Dreadnought gets squished in one single blow. I still had an additional attack. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's scary. Pretty scary, John. It's time for this guy. This guy's coming down. Uh, teleportation happens at the end of the movement phase, however, but this is going to happen. He's going to come down. It's going to be epic. I'm excited. But first, these guys are coming out. Grey Knight's doing what Grey Knight's do best. Demon hunting. These guys could come out too. Grey knights are here. Uh, this guy over here. This guy's leaving combat. He's like, nope, straight out of there. Uh, these guys, combat is imminent. I think. How many characters do we have left? One. Is that a character as well? Yeah. Two, three. 
God damn, I don't want to fight any characters, John. Did I mention that I don't want to fight characters? Because I do not want to fight characters. Okay, good. <laughs> This is where I have to do some very clever tactical shooting and really think hard about what I'm going to do. First of all, this Razorback is going to shoot his LAS cannon at this guy. Oh no, wait, what am I doing? Psychic phase! Hold up! That was nearly really dangerous. Uh, so first things first, I'm a realist. These guys are going to uh, cast Smite at that guy. They get plus one to psychic tests because my army's battle forged. Negative one on leadership. Um, so this is going to go off on a four. I'm going to use a command point. I'm going to re-roll that. There we go. Much better. That goes off. That's three mortal wounds on Balakor. You, you blocked it. Uh, these guys can do the same thing. Got it on an eight. Can't block that one. Can't block that one. Cool. So he goes up. So he's taken five. He's got one life left. These guys are gonna cast Smite on those. What am I doing? I didn't bring my Dread Knight down. I'm insane. I got carried away my Psychic phase and didn't bring the Dread Knight down. It's a lesson to learn. That was not, uh, that was not, a, clever, not a clever idea at all. Don't forget what phase you're in. Don't forget it. So these guys are gonna cast Smite on those guys. Uh, six, it goes off. Uh, three mortal wounds on the Blood Letters. I can't believe I didn't remember to bring the Dreadnought down. Like, that's so ridiculously dumb. I spent all day building that frickin' thing and then forgot to bring it in on the fourth turn of the game. We were on the fifth turn, but still. That's, that's so dumb. He might not even get into close combat this game. Yeah, it's any character. Three mortal wounds on the blood letters. Two, three, okay. Alright, I'm gonna fire these two incinerators at Bellacore. Okay. But I'm going to fire the Storm Bolters at this squad. Important in 8, you do have to announce how you're splitting the fire before you do it. Um, so the two incinerators first. Uh, these guys have seven hits automatically. And they've got a strength of six, which is great against him because he's got a toughness of six. So I'm winning on fours. Oh. It's three. AP minus one. He's got three saves at minus one. Three saves, five up. Five up. And re-rolls. He always re-rolls. Nice! So God, that's it. <sighs> Got him. Bellacore's down. That was scary. The amount of attacks he had. Command point. Ah! Oh. Nice! Oh. That's it. Got him. Oh. Yep, he's out. Okay, good, good, good. And I saved those Storm Bolter shots to use against the other guys. Yep. I'm suddenly feeling better about this. I'm in uh, 12 inches now. So these guys got four shots each. Uh, hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Six saves. Three go down. Ah, that's interesting. So John's doing some very interesting selection of what characters, he, what miniatures he brings down now. Some of my weapons have got a short range. If John takes the things, yep, that's it. So by taking the ones away that are closest, this unit can't fire their flamethrowers anymore. These guys can, but still. So I'll activate this unit next. Uh, they're firing everything at the blood letters. Uh, I got four flamethrowers first, which I'm going to fire first. These guys are automatically hitting. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, 19 hit. It's a 19 hit. Wounding on twos. You don't often get to roll dice like this. You have 15 saves to make a five up, John, before the Storm Bolters fire. Holy! <laughs> Those dice! Eight dead, but still, that's an insane amount of fives and sixes. kind of what I was hoping for. By taking down the blood letters, I'm opening up the ability for my uh, Razorbacks to shoot the, uh, the characters. Although this one can't fire because it was in close combat. This squad are firing their Storm Bolters at the blood letters because I announced it already. There's only two and I have 24 shots. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. 13 saves of five or more. John needs to make 12 saves just to keep one blood letter alive. All right, that's it, that's I got him, it. nice, okay. Blood letters are out, they're not coming back. That's good news. So I'm gonna start by firing this Razorback at this guy. Uh, two shots hitting on threes. No, no, fours, because he moved. One hit. 
Winning on twos, I got a wound at minus three, but invulnerable save. Five, you made it. Good job. It's no wounds from the last cannons. I've got storm bolt shots here. Uh, in short range, so they're getting 12 shots. Hitting on threes, wounding on fours. It's actually really good, only one missed. Wounding on fours, let's see that again. Seven saves. Three wounds. Three wounds, and I'm gonna use a clamp. Oh, nice. Two wounds. Solid. Um, and that marks the end of my fourth turn. John, you're up, fourth turn. This is it. This is two units, right? Yes, yeah, one unit at ten. Shooting phase. Yep. Done. <laughs> I love you, John. All right. Here we go. Parrot's charging. All right. I've got these two nasty characters charging into this unit, but I do have four incinerators in that unit. I only get to fire at the first thing that charges because then I'll be in connection. I got to kill this thing. These are automatic hits. It's a lot. Uh, 19. 19 automatic hits, strength six. Okay, toughness four, so wounding on threes. Oh my gosh, that's not very good. Nine saves oh, at minus one. I think he's dead. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. So because they're not in close combat, they're gonna get to overwatch again if someone charges them. So here he comes. Okay. Flamethrowers again? Just almost feels unfair. 12 shots. I almost don't want to kill him. Do you have to take Overwatch? I'll kill him in close combat anyway, though. So, yeah. Yeah, he'll. 10 saves. The incinerators are brutal on the Grey Knights. Strength 6, minus 1, D6 automatic hits. Oh, that's a lot of saves. He's got two lives and he's taken two wounds. Nice! He's got one wound left. I got storm bolters. I got a lot of them. Uh, 24 storm bolt shots. He's already hitting on sixes. Two. <laughs> Two hits. Uh, they're wounding on fours. One wound. One save. Save, of course. Nice job, John. There he goes. He's charging in. That skull taker argh, with one wound. That's a lot of, uh, of firepower he just weathered. It's a tough unit. Yeah. <laughs> they need to practice more. It's because of the tactical withdrawals they keep making. They're not scared, they're just tactical withdrawals. Okay, here we go. Hitting on twos. And that's four that are negative three AP. So I got four saves of six to make. Nope, that's four dead. I'm gonna kill the incinerators at this point. Fighting back? Okay. Start with that uh, nemesis demon hammer. Uh, that's on the Justicar. So this guy's got two attacks. Uh, he's hitting on fours. One hit, wounding on a two, one wound. Minus three AP, it will do three damage, but you got an invulnerable save. One! Bad luck. So at the end of the game, I'm controlling one objective, uh, which gives me an extra three points, puts me up to five, and that's game. I got Warlord. Good game, John. Yeah, so he died, right? So, John got one point, because I... Do you remember that day that I spent an entire day putting a miniature together, and I was so excited about using it and worried to die that I didn't bring him into the game? God. All right, let's... Uh, great game, John. Really good. Uh, yeah, that was... Uh... That was something. Usually, at least once a game, I'll roll a one for the for the blood letters and bring some back. Um, well, not usually. Every game except this one, I have brought blood letters back, uh, and I really needed them this game because he was just shooting me up. Um, so it was a good tactic running away like a little girl, but. Um, Anyway, it was a good game, it was fun, and we got to roll a bunch of dice, and that's that's what's important. I don't know what I would have done differently, maybe played played a little more aggressively with the Bloodthirster, I kind of held back on him and it cost me. Um, but I really thought that he was gonna drop in his Dreadnought and then I was gonna go after it. But yeah, that's, that's 
probably the, the only thing I would change. I think my game plan was pretty sound and I got the advances. Just uh, him moving back and keeping out of range was critical for me. So that was a great game. Uh, the Grey Knights did pretty much what I expected them to, and that was destroy demons. Uh, fun fact, I actually messaged John before this game. I was like, hey John, I really want to try the new Grey Knights out, and it'd be cool to play them against demons, but I feel bad bringing Grey Knights against demons because, you know, they're probably going to win, and I don't want to crush you because, you know, we've played a lot of games, and I tend to win most of them, um, which is not true off camera, it's just true on camera. And John was like, nope, you know what, uh, I have no problem with that, I've got a really cool corn demon army. And it is, I mean, his demon army was amazing. Uh, you know, he, he definitely ran into some bad luck with not being able to bring, uh, manifest the additional demons in the got killed. And when he came up close, like my Grey Knight army is designed to just use those incinerators and, and crush things in close combat, or in close range. Um, it was really cool playing with him. I've never played my Grey Knights before, and now, like, I think I'm gonna have to seeing as how great an army they are, you know, they did really well. And I can't think of many uh, close combat armies that are going to want to charge into that much incinerators, uh, you know, that much firepower. So yeah, great game. John played really, really well. And uh, sadly, I forgot to bring this guy down, which was really sad. Uh, actually, uh, I, I didn't really forget. I was kind of like uh, making a joke about it, but it's actually a tournament tactic that I use quite a lot. Um, which is if you're playing an objective game, it pays to save something big and meaty in a teleportation chamber so that at the end of the game in the final turn, you can drop it on an objective. Uh, in this particular game, that would gain me three victory points for an additional objective. Um, and there's not many ways that this guy is going to gain me three victory points. Plus, as my warlord, he's worth one if John manages to kill him. So if I can drop him at the last turn of the game, not only do I gain three extra, but I deny John one. And so it's actually a really powerful tactic to use. And I still had the option to bring him in if it any point I was worried that John was going to overwhelm my army and I needed that additional firepower. So it's actually a, a pretty powerful tactic that I like to use. Uh, but sadly it means that I didn't get to use him in the game. Oh well, maybe next time. So there you have it. As expected, I suppose, the Grey Knights completely crushed the forces of the Corn Demon Army. Now don't forget, you've got an opportunity to win your very own starter box of your choice by simply leaving a comment and sharing this video. If you do, you'll be selected into our random draw where we get our automated computers to go through. Select somebody who has both commented and shared we'll be reaching out to you to find out what starter box you want to get this coming month and of course don't forget to let us know in the comment section which starter box you'd want us to be getting you can pick something from warhammer 40,000 or from age of sigma now this suggestion for a battle actually came from one of the comments we saw somebody had written that they want to see gray knights against demons and that's what made us select this one if there is a battle that you'd like to see go down then please let us know in the comments below and we'll go through them and we'll have a look at the suggestions to let you see the battles that you want i'll see you in the next episode Bonus round. You didn't think we were going to miss out on this epic fight between these two giant behemoths, did you? No. There was no way that I spent all day gluing this freaking thing together not to see it go head-to-head -head with that bloodthirster. So, as a thank you for watching right to the very end of this episode, you're going to get to see these two giants take it out in a single one-on-one -on -one match between myself and John Cook. John, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Bloodthirster, ready. Yellow dice are ready. Yeah. So the rules for engagement in this battle are very simple. We're going to start to roll to see who gets the first turn. We're going to give John an opportunity to seize after I win the first turn. And then we're going to allow these two units to go head to head to see who wins. We've set them up 18 inches apart. John, are you ready? Yep. Beat my three. Two. There we go, I won initiative. Now John gets the opportunity to seize. Here's the six. Yeah. <sighs> two for one. Dread Knight goes first. All right, that's what I needed. Now the question is, will I do a tactical withdrawal? No, I won't. No, I won't. I'm coming, I'm coming for you, John. It's, it's happening. Match. You can't run. No, you can't. You, you can't run. You can't run. You can't hide. You can't hide from me. Eight, eight inches wings. forward. Rah, here he comes. A Dread Knight is after you. Movement phase, psychic phase. So let's see if I'm in range for smite. I am. I'm gonna start off by casting smite. I get plus one on this roll, John. So that's a fail. I'm gonna use my command point. I have three command points, so I'm gonna re-roll that. Got it, 10. Now, question, right to banishment. No, that's just exactly as it is, it's a three. So that's three mortal wounds on the bloodthirster so far. Next, I'm gonna cast Vortex of Doom. It's got a casting cost of eight, and I failed on a seven. So that's about it for that. 
uh, we'll move into uh, the shooting phase. So I've got a heavy side cannon. I moved, so instead of hitting on a two, I'm hitting on a three. Six shots hitting on threes. Ooh, five hits. So he's got a strength of seven against your toughness of seven. Yeah. Wounding on fours. Two. Four ups. Two wounds. Uh, I've got an incinerator that's got a range of eight inches, which is sadly nowhere in range. And I'm going to attempt to charge. <laughs> I need a ten to pull this off. That's something that's new. <laughs> I need a ten in order to make this happen. Eight. I'm not going to waste another command point on it. Nope. That is it. I didn't use my freaking reroll ones. I don't think I rolled a one, but yeah, that's it. That's the end of my turn. First, I'm going to do the blood flail. It's assault one. Hitting on twos. Hits. And this one is strength eight versus toughness seven, so a three. It's negative three AP and does three damage. I've got a four up and runnable save. Let's do this. Come on, Dread Knight. No! Three damage. He takes it. He's down to nine. And then D6 assault from Hellfire. Three. Hitting on two ups. Yeah. And we roll once. So two. That's two negative ones. That's one damage each. Okay, so I've got three up saves. Double ones! That's bad. Another two damage. We've both taken five damage already. Yep. We're both 12 wound models. Uh, what's the power level of yours? Uh, power level 17. At 14. They're pretty, pretty evenly matched. You got a bit of an advantage, but it's interesting. Right. And uh, so that's it for my shooty. And I'm going to saw, so you got Overwatch. Okay, here we go. So let's start with the heavy side cannon. Uh, I got six shots, needing sixes. Rerolling ones, I got one six. Winning on a four up. Oh, that doesn't count. Four up. Got it. So you have one save at minus one. Good. Nice. Okay, so now um, I've got D6 shots to the heavy incinerator. Three. Winning on fives. One at minus one again. I'm good. Okay. Close combat. Okay, six attacks, hitting on twos, and these are strength ten. Reroll. So hitting six times. Yep. Winning on threes. Five. And these are negative four. How much damage are they doing each? D6. Oh, this could be it. Four up saves. <laughs> this is the time. Two go through. Four damage. He's taken nine damage. He gets to fight back? Yep. At nine damage, he's significantly weakened. Uh, he's got four attacks this time. Four attacks with the Nemesis Demon Great Hammer. Uh, these normally hit on twos, they're gonna hit on threes, re-rolling ones. I got a one and a hit. Make that two hits. Uh, I've got a strength of 12. Toughness seven. Sadly not double, so wounding on threes. One wound, uh, minus four AP. Just the five up. No, These six wounds. Mm -hmm. If I get a four, we'll be exactly even. Six! six. He's got one life left. Six. Ho ho! Wow. This could be it. No, he's got 16 wounds. Oh, that's yeah. not 12. That's a lot. Yeah. So, 16 wounds, okay. So he's got five lives left. Not gonna move. I am gonna enter the psychic phase. Demon's got minus one leadership right now, which puts him down to nine. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use my stratagem to try and cast Purge Soul. Um, the charge value is five, but uh, we're, if it goes off, make sure it goes off. It does. Um, if it goes off, we both roll a dice and add our leadership. Um, if I roll over you, you take that many mortal wounds. I got 13. I got 12. So that's one mortal wound. Um, then I'm going to cast Smite. Three. 
And I can't use another command point because I've used one already. Set moves me into the shooting phase. I have no shoot shots. So close combat. Here we go. Hitting on threes. Rerolling ones. And there are three of them. Six. One hit. I'm winning on a three. One. Failed. D6 wounds. Which dice? This one. This is the lucky dice, I'm hoping. You're at 12, I need a four or higher. Come on. D6! Oh, good Dread Knight. Bad luck, John. Good game, man. It's close. God, that was all dice rolls. And now the question is, do I just retire him as a hero so he doesn't ever play again? Considering I haven't played Grey Knights ever before, it's almost uh, he came out, did one thing, and maybe just sit on that shelf with all the other miniatures that are unpainted, waiting to play again. Now, I mean, this thing is awesome, man. I absolutely love it. I think the Nemesis Dread Knight with the Grandmaster really is a great model. Uh, you know, John's amazing. I mean, it was luck. Uh, ultimately, just between those two, I think if we played five games, I'm pretty sure the Bloodthirst would have won four of them. Uh, but still, I love this guy. Can't recommend him enough. Make your own.